Today, we're diving into some serious performance details about the iPhone 16 Pro and its powerful new 18 Pro chipset. Apple has always been a performance leader, but how much faster is the iPhone 16 Pro compared to its predecessor? The iPhone 15 Pro Max and its rivals like the Galaxy S24 Ultra and Pixel 9 Pro XL. We now have the benchmark results to break it all down for you. The iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max come equipped with Apple's brand new A18 Pro chipset, while the regular iPhone 16 models are powered by the base A18 chip. Both chips deliver significant performance improvements over their predecessors, but just how big is the leap? We'll first look at CPU performance where Apple continues to dominate the competition and then dive into GPU, AI, and storage performance to see how the iPhone 16 stacks up against its rivals. When it comes to CPU power, Apple has always been ahead of the game. Let's start with the Geekbench 6 benchmarks, where we see that both the iPhone 16 Pro Max and 16 Pro score over 3,300 in single core tests. This is an 8% improvement over last year's iPhone 15 Pro Max, which scored 2,958. On the multi-core side, the iPhone 16 Pro Max shows nearly a 15% boost, scoring 81 of 6 compared to the 7288 of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This steady, albeit small, improvement keeps Apple comfortably ahead in the CPU performance race, compared to the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, which only scored 2187 in single core and 6669 in multi core. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is about 50% faster in single core and 22% faster in multi-core tests against the Pixel 9 Pro XL, which score even lower at 1967 for single core and 4775 for multi-core. The gap is even more significant. So, while the iPhone 16 Pro doesn't deliver a revolutionary leap in CPU performance, it still solidifies Apple's lead in the smartphone world. Next, let's talk graphics. The iPhone 16 Pro Max and Pro also come with impressive GPU upgrades thanks to the extra GPU core on the Pro models. In the 3D Mark Extreme benchmarks, the iPhone 16 Pro Max scores 4567 in high performance mode, a noticeable improvement over the 4236 of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. However, Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip in the Galaxy S24 Ultra actually manages to outperform the iPhone 16 Pro Max in the first few minutes of GPU tests with a score of 4960. But here's where things get interesting. After a few minutes of heavy use, both phones start to throttle and the iPhone 16 Pro Max takes the lead with a score of 3009 compared to the Galaxy S24 Ultra's 2710. This means that for long gaming sessions, the iPhone now holds the advantage in sustained GPU performance. But Apple can't rest on its laurels just yet. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to launch in January 2025, and it could once again shake things up. Eye performance is becoming increasingly important, especially as more apps and services leverage machine learning. In the AI benchmarks, the iPhone 16 series crushes the competition. The iPhone 16 Pro Max scores 4478 in AI single tests, far ahead of the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra's 2597 and the Pixel 9 Pro XL's 2129. In AI half and AI quantized tests, the iPhone continues to dominate with scores of 7675 and 6136 respectively. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, scores just 2644 and 3843 in those same tests. This significant lead in AI performance shows that Apple is not just focused on traditional CPU and GPU power, but is also pushing forward in machine learning capabilities. There is clear, it's faster than its predecessors and it comfortably beats out its rivals, especially in sustained GPU and AI performance. The iPhone 16 Pro Max remains the king of CPU performance, with a 50% lead over the Galaxy S24 Ultra in single core tests. While Qualcomm has caught up in GPU performance, the iPhone's ability to sustain high performance hits at the edge in long gaming sessions. And when it comes to AI and storage, Apple is miles ahead of the competition. That's it for today. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. In just a few months time, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will succeed the iPhone 15 Pro Max and take on the mantle as the best and most advanced iPhone out there. Although there's plenty of time until September and a lot can change, we seem to know a lot about the upcoming top iPhone model based on rumors and leaks. How is the iPhone 16 Pro Max shaping up against its predecessor? What's changing and what's staying the same? Let's see how the iPhone 16 Pro Max shapes up against the current best iPhone Apple has in its roster. First up, 
Let's talk about design and size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will inherit the same design language as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, employing the same titanium frame with a completely flat screen. The major difference between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be size. The upcoming iPhone screen will grow to 6.9 inches across a significant bump over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.7 inch display. To achieve this, they're likely shrinking the bezels down even further and making the thumb itself slightly larger overall. As per the rumors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will measure 163mm in height and 77.58mm in width versus 159.9mm and 76.7mm for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. A small but notable change, all things considered. The iPhone 15 Pro Max debuted with an action button instead of a mute switch and a USB Type-C port at the bottom, so those two features will be carrying over to the newer model as well. However, the iPhone 16 series will be scoring another button, dubbed the Capture Button. Colors-wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available in four understated and titanium-inspired colors. We've heard that Apple might use another titanium processing technique that will make the iPhone 16 Pro Max glossier and also more capable of retained colors. Moving on to display differences. As mentioned, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come along with a significantly larger display, measuring at 6.9 inches across. Aside from the size, we don't clearly expect any other major changes. We're certainly getting a liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering superb colors, contrast, and exceptional maximum brightness. The screen will support 120Hz promotion refresh rate, making scrolling through the interface and on-screen content way smoother. Now let's delve into performance and software. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a second-generation 3 nanometer chip, possibly dubbed Apple A18 Pro. As one can imagine, we expect that the Apple A18 Pro will have better performance than the Apple A17 Pro. Due to the heavily rumored focus on AI for both iOS and the iPhone 16 range, we expect that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a much improved neural engine to take care of all the generative AI features. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will also be a first to debut iOS 18 with a focus on artificial intelligence features. The new iPhone 16 Pro Max will also support faster Wi-Fi 7 and a more power-efficient 5G modem, keeping you future-proofed on the connectivity front. Let's talk about the camera. As the iPhone 15 Pro Max deliver a host of important camera features, chief among which is the new 120mm telephoto lens, the iPhone 16 Pro Max can finally address one of the forgotten cameras that hasn't recently scored any significant overhauls, the ultra-wide. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that Apple will be introducing a 48 megapixel ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. When it comes to audio quality, iPhone Pro Max devices are always up there with the best, setting the benchmarks for all other manufacturers to measure up against. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will be no exception. The same generally applies to haptics too. iPhones are arguably the best devices when it comes to haptic feedback, giving us precise and accurate vibrations that are sufficiently strong yet not overpowering. Lastly, battery life and charging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature a much larger 4,676 mAh battery compared to the 4,422 mAh battery in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Charging-wise, we haven't heard anything about a potential charging speed increase, but we hope to see one on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a logical improvement to the iPhone 15 Pro Max delivering key upgrades in important areas like screen size, performance, AI, and battery life. Thus far, we haven't heard anything particular about a potential price increase, so it's safe to assume that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will start at $1,199 for the 256GB version. Of course, if there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max in your pocket, then you'll probably have few reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we get closer to its release date. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time.